is going on guys welcome back to another episode of SC Outdoors um, today's video very excited about um, just feel like it was a really fun time um, ended out on a wilderness trout stream just way out in the backwoods um, the I guess the biggest uh, key to my success was actually just the conditions um, the best time to fish a small stream like this is after a good rain we had an inch and a half of rain the night or the day before um, the stream was flowing really, really well, um, uh, probably double or triple the size of it that it is normally. Um, so it can make a small brook trout stream extremely fishable um, as far as like nymphing runs, things like that. It might be more pocket water when it's lower. Um, and the fish are just, they are vulnerable, they're out there, they're feeding, they, they, feel, um, they feel comfortable grabbing stuff that's floating by. I don't think they even care what it is half the time, especially brookies. Um, which is why I think my egg pattern did so well. I caught a lot of fish on it. Um, did get a couple on a hare's ear and nymph as well, but a lot more fish on an egg than I probably would normally do, um, or pro probably normally get. Um, but anyways, that's my little bit of advice um, for small streams. If you can hit them after a rain, definitely do so. Um, I'm always getting excited when it's raining like that, um, just to go hit a mountain stream. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna take you into it, caught some nice fish. Um, very nice brook trout, a couple nice browns, so stay tuned. All right guys, here on the water, or here on the trail, I should say, I'm in a state forest up in central Pennsylvania. Um, these plants on my left and on my right are gonna be my worst enemy, I have a feeling, um, rhododendrons. They can be beautiful, but they are thick and windy. Can't really get through them. So if you've ever fished a stream that's choked by them, you know what I mean. Um, but I'm on a brook trout stream, we got a ton of rain. So I had to come uh, come find a, a small stream. It's flown pretty good, I saw it once, but it's tucked in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, I got about 13, 14 miles of stream with no road access, so really looking forward to it. I'm sure we'll find some open spots. Um, I'll show you my setup here in a little bit then too. All right guys, so found an opening down into the stream um, through all the rhododendron. Wanted to show you my setup real quick. So on top, I'm throwing a it's a size uh, 14 Lively Legs egg imitation, pink and yellow. Um, and about, oh, seven, eight inches behind it, I have this uh, beaded hare's ear, size 18. Normally I'd keep it about six to four inches behind it in a small stream like this, but it's flowing so fast. Um, I think I can afford to do it. The egg may act as a little bit as a, uh, a tractor, um, but this fly is falling right behind it a little deeper, so it's worked for me um, here on these kind of streams before, so let's we'll see how we do. Uh, first cast. There we go. Oh man, little brookie. First bite of the day. Hit that pretty much immediately. Really like this um, the backwater after this log here, especially on the right. Some soft water. That's all you're looking for in this uh, these type of conditions. Just some soft water. This stream is booking. Yep. Nice. Oh, it's a brown. Come here, buddy. There we go, beautiful fish. All right, folks, let's get this guy out of here. Beautiful brown. Dark fish. Love those red spots. See you, buddy. He took the uh, egg pattern.
There we go. Really little brook trout. Wow. Oh, fell off the hook. Tiny little guy. Man, about as small as you'll get. There we go. Oh, nice brookie. Took the um, egg pattern. Let's go. Look at that, extremely pretty fish. Love those blue halos. See you, buddy. Just right again in that backwater over there. There we go. Nice. Brook trout. Bring him over here. All right, guys. There he is, another pretty brookie. See you, buddy. I'm fishing this long, deep hole, but I got these trees here, and it's really obstructing things. But glad I was able to pull one out. I really like this run here. It's really deep, nice, but the only thing that scares me is this pile of logs here on the left. Try to catch a fish without getting snagged. The ideal. Oh, we got one. Nice. It's got some fight to him. Brown, it looks like. Figure with the weight. There we go. All right, guys. Second brown of the day. They do not lack uh, lack any prettiness in this stream. That's for sure. Thanks, buddy. There we go. Nice brookie. Nice. Love the reds on this one. All right. I guess a beautiful reds on this guy. Oh, man, freaking love it. She goes. There we go. That's a good brookie. Oh yes, let's go. Took the egg pattern. Man, he's, well, he's not quite as big as I thought, but it's, I mean, he's still, you know, nine inches maybe, eight, nine. I mean, that's a good brook trout for sure. There we go. And I got stuck in a tree there. Above me. Really gotta get better watching that. Another absolutely stunning brook trout. 
This guy ended up on the uh, ended up on the egg as well. Egg pattern's doing pretty well. I think it has a lot to do with the um, the high water. The fish are just kind of looking for stuff to maybe bigger stuff to float by. But squirm worm would probably kill it right now, honestly, too. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Ooh, big brookie. Come here, buddy. That's a really nice brook trout. There we go. Let's go. All right, guys, this, this is a nice brook trout. Take a look at that thing. He's gotta be, He's got to be 11, 12. I mean, look at that fish, man. Yeah, he's, pro he's probably about 11. Oh. What a stud. Oh, that's awesome. That's my biggest brook trout, probably a little bit. Man, I almost went back because it's getting pretty, um, pretty choked here with rhododendrons, but I found this opening. opening. And uh, I'm glad I glad I stopped. There we go. Ah, uh, little brookie. Lost him. This is, um, this is gonna be the end of the line for me. Stream split pretty much in half. I'm on a, technically a tributary, but they're about the same size. Um, I do know that it's a class A brook trout stream. However, there are a ton of rhododendrons. It looks like we go into a uh, pretty good jungle after this run, so. I'm gonna walk back. There is another stream or another section of the stream I wanted to hit. It's stocked, um, but it's supposed to have some wild browns as well. So I'm going to check that out. That'll probably be a different video if it is a video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one uh, as I get stuck. That's a good way to end.